This is Movie Tone. Jeffrey Sumner reporting. At Fighter Command headquarters, the Queen, escorted by the Secretary of State for Air, Mr. George Ward, is followed by Prince Philip with Marshal of the Royal Air Force, Sir Dermot Boyle, and members of the Royal Family with other Marshals. The Queen Mother with Sir John Salmon, Princess Margaret with Lord Newell. A unique and glittering occasion, marking the 40th birthday of Britain's youngest fighting service, to which Her Majesty paid tribute. Forty years ago today, my grandfather created the third fighting service of the Crown, the Royal Air Force, to which I and my family are here to do honour tonight. After a reference to the build-up and work of the RAF between the two world wars, then, in 1940, the Battle of Britain was fought, which rightly takes its place with Trafalgar and Waterloo among the decisive battles of history. <laughs> we can be sure that when we celebrate your half century, the service will look different from what it does today. But the task will be the same, to prevent war by being prepared to frustrate any knavish tricks. <laughs> I am certain that on your 50th birthday, those who are left of that cheerful band of officers and airmen who remember the service from its earliest beginnings will look with admiration upon a new generation of young men and women flying the aircraft, controlling the missiles, and working the magically complex technical equipment of a Royal Air Force that will still be young in spirit. And it is to that spirit and to your great service that I now ask you to rise and to drink a toast. Secretary of State, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the toast of the Royal Air Force. She's ready for her...